Hello everyone, this is Trafalgar Valentine. How's it going today? Today I thought I'd do another car drawing. This one's going to be like a little sprinter. So to start off with, I'm just going to do a few outlines in pencil. And then I'm probably going pen and do some shading. Okay, to start off with, I'm going to do the front wheel. It's quite a small car, so it's got a short wheelbase. So that'll be the front wheel. Then for the rear wheel, come across here. Then another one there. Okay, for the front spoiler, just do like a rectangle shape. And for the cross side, and then for the other side. And then for the top spoiler, which is the more bigger one. Like so. And the body will come down here. Then the front. So it's just a rough outline and pencil. I've done it, hopefully you can see it. It's quite lightly. And the ground will come across here, just to give me a rough perspective of where things are going. So let's go on with pen. Let's get started. Okay, so for the front spoiler, I'm just going to curl it out the edges. Just like so. So like a diagonal rectangle, it's quite easy to draw. Then a line going across, just about in the middle way of the where the rectangle is and for this side. Then you use a ruler just to measure these up, make sure the same length and join them up. Do another support line underneath it. What should we draw next? Maybe let's do the bigger spoiler as well, just because that takes up a lot of room. So it's just again another big thick rectangle shape. And then for the same edge as the top spoiler. I'm just going to follow the same line and roughly about halfway down and again on this side roughly about halfway down and then keep the angle the same it's good if you keep these angles the same just create a bit of symmetry and for this spoiler side Like so. Okay, now that I've got the spoilers in, which is the more bigger section of the actual vehicle, maybe finish this line up there. Work on some of the bodywork. So I'm just going to do a little circle shape here. And this front panel comes down. And comes underneath. And there's a roll bar which comes underneath there. It's got a lot of bars and a lot of roll bars, so just be careful of them. You don't want to overlap the drawing and stuff and ruin it. Like that. Um Maybe we should do the wheel next. So I'm just going to pivot my hand around. Like so. Try and keep the tyre exactly the same on all sides. You can measure it just to make sure that it is. Maybe we do, do little dots. Just so you've got somewhere to 
guide you. You could use a French curve or something for this. I'm just doing a pin. Any lines that are not quite smooth, I'll just smooth them out later. And any lines that I've done that are darker, I know I'm going to shade this in so it's going to be fine. I'll cover those up. Then for the other section, so I've just done a line going across on either side and joined that up. Then for the inner rim, because it's on the, slightly on the inside, I want to show that this side of the surface is shown more than this side. So I've done a circle on this side. And then it's got these holes in the centre. Sort of like a flower pattern. Then again, some more lines on the rim. Like that. Okay, let's do some more of these roll bars. So there's one just coming underneath this wheel to come up here. Like that. And this comes around. And again on this side, join those two up with a bar in the center. And then for the other side, following the same shape I've just done here, behind this bar. And then let's do some support braces for the spoiler. So it's one there. And one there. Then there's a small square frame behind it. Just do a square shape there. And a little circle for the joint. Then do the other side. There's a little bit of bodywork in the centre, so I'm just going to do a line going up. And this will become more clear when I do the shading as well. You can make these lines look a lot 3D and stuff. Okay, so maybe we've got those lines in, we can start with the other wheel. So again, just keeping the surface line similar. Then the rim centre is going to be just behind the spoiler, so it comes on this angle. And inside of this wheel, it's a little complicated. Like that. Okay, let's do some more of the bodywork. So we're just going to do a line going across here. Then there's another bar that comes just not too, not quite halfway, but just above the tyre there. And this comes up. Do a little circle there just for the joint. Then the bottom section of it. Okay, and then there's one bar that comes from about here and joins just before the back wheel. A lot of these are just sport bars for different sections of it, so don't have to be absolutely perfect and all these different vehicles are the same, these little uh, sprint cars I think you call them, I can't quite remember. And these will be the exhaust pipes. So these come down and curl at the bottom. It's important to keep the length of the pipe the same all the way across. 
and then these go underneath here like so then we can finish off this support beam one behind it then a little crossbar just a little block there let's do another pipe coming up here the round housing like that okay maybe let's start with the back wheel now it's uh, about the same size as the front one maybe it's a little bit bigger so I'm just going to do a dot there just to mark where I want it to be and then for the ground that's going to be exactly the same so then I'm going to curl these lines up which I pivoted my hand and again the rim come round I made this a bit funny shape so I'm just going to even it out just like that and again the smaller rim in the centre the floral hole pattern this is just to allow maximum support for the wheel but also reduce some weight as well you could have a solid rim here but it would be quite heavy so you've got these holes in the centre just to reduce the weight down then do the 3D version of the tyre just do lines going across and curl it up and have the driver's opening which will come down here and it's got another support frame there's one bar that I've just noticed that comes up just below it and then the rest of the body comes back down here and it's got these little tail bars come up here like that Just join the rest of this up okay so that's basically the body all done Ooh, do, 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 do. Might need to do a support frame just for the inside of this spoiler just to strengthen it but also keep it lightweight at the same time so I'm just going to add a second line around it and just a few lines across the centre just for the support and then we can start doing the driver so here is going to be his arm coming up here do the spot bar there and it's got these racing harnesses on which will be the back of his seat which will come down here and then for his crash helmet like so Okay, so I think I can move into shading now. It's uh, starting to look pretty good. Maybe um, it's had some numbers on this. It's not not quite a racing car yet. It needs to have some numbers and stuff. So I'm going to do... What number should we have? About a zero. Then a one. I don't know. Any number you want, really. It's just for fun. Uh, 
Uh, let's add some flames in this. Like so. I want to mimic the same flames on the bodywork. So. Here, maybe there's two spawn this side. Maybe that's at the zero and one on this side as well. I want some flames on the top part, like that. Okay. So to start shading, I'm just gonna do some block shading. Start off with, I might do a bit of cross hatching as well, but I'm going to try and leave a white highlight just around some of the shapes and to highlight some other things. So the bodywork's going to I want to be darkest, just so I can have the roll cage pipes and stuff. Just leaving them so it pops out a bit more. Let's maybe zoom in just so you can see a bit better. There we are. I'm just going to fill this in. Sorry, I forgot to mention this is a 0.5 uni pin, ballpoint, um, fine line pen. You can use any if you want, ballpoint marker or just even a pencil, depends what you want. And then for the pipes, I'm just going to do a thick line running across it. If I keep this consistent, and at the ends just curl it and fall it down slowly. And keep the that thick line going consistent right round. And again on these pipes, thick line across. Maybe let's darken this one up. Here, let's do another thick line. Like so. And this bar here, I want this one to be the above all else, so I'm darkening all the areas around it. So maybe let's darken all this up. Uh, do, 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 do. Again on this pipe, let's just do a thick line and curl it around to the top. Just like that. Let's maybe have this bit more black. Just going down here. I'm just showing you what I'm going to do with the engine section here first, and then I'll probably move into time lapse just to speed it along. But it just shows you what method I'm using just to shade it. And for this pipe, let's do a line going across here. Again, more blocks here, shading. And let's join this ones up to emphasize that white bar. I might do a little bit of shading on here, just at the lower section, not too much. Just a thin line. And you can even go over the whole roll bar just to ensure those lines are crisp. Just like that. Let's darken all this up here. Like that. And then for the flames, I'm going to do the flames in black as well, but I'll leave a little white highlight at the bottom. to show. I'll finish all these little black sections off. For the wheel, I need to maybe do some more tread on them. 
So I'm just going to do maybe a zigzag pattern. So I'll start at the top. And I guess close to the bottom, like that. I'm going to do the same for the other side. Again, when it gets close to the bottom, keep them more closer together. Then the zigzags will be wider apart at the larger bit of the tire in the centre where you'll see more of it. Okay. So that's pretty much what I'm going to be doing. So I might move to tie lapse just because uh, I don't need to be completely bored with me just doing the same thing over and over over the whole body work. But it's just what I've learned to pick up and just how to shade it. I don't know the correct terminology for it or anything like that. I never went to art school. All these fancy words for different actions and stuff like that. But and for shapes like around this rim where I want the light to curl in I'm going to slowly get narrower and narrower at the edges to slowly get bigger just to give that more depth feel and because it's centre bit showing more light there's going to be less shade in there For these top sections, I might be not doing completely in black, but maybe just a thicker line just around the edges. Like so. Around the numbers. And back down. And let's join all this up in black. It's easy to get confused, so if you just focus and concentrate on one little section at a time, you've got the whole drawing done now, so you know where everything is and everything's in proportion. And you might see some little elements or little knickknacks you can see along the way. Don't worry, that's fine. It doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. Some people pre plan the whole drawing and stuff beforehand, but. I just kind of learn as I go along and if I make mistakes, I make mistakes, I make mistakes all the time, I just fix them, make it part of the drawing. I mean, for instance, say maybe I was shading along here and then I accidentally did a line across. I mean, you could try spend ages trying to tip X that all out or use and correct it, but no, let's make it part of the drawing. So what can I turn this into be? Maybe just make it thin up here. How about if I have a little flag? Like that. And now it becomes part of the drawing. Where's the mistake? Well, you know where it is because you saw it happen, but the person who looks at it from a new angle won't notice it. So don't worry about making mistakes. And even if you do mess up the drawing, it's fine. Each drawing is just a practice for the next one. That's what I always say. So even if I mess it up, it's still practice for the next drawing. Okie dokie.
Okay, so you can see the majority of all the shading that I've done. I've just continued the pattern of block shading, just going around. And then the final touches is just basically making sure that all these are just equally done and maybe fine tuning a few lines here and there. Just go over it like a typewriter backwards and forwards, just making sure everything's tightened up. Make sure there's no loose lines. It's, it's all about consistency with these ink drawings. Make sure you've got a consistent pattern. So what becomes or thinks looks like a mess becomes actually part of the whole drawing. And you'd be amazed how much it actually pops out as well. So across there. I might do this in a green outline as well. Just for just for effect. Just going around the whole picture. Like I said, you can do this picture in pencil if you wanted, or pen, just whatever you're more comfortable with. It's not about how good the pen is or anything like that. A lot of my drawings sometimes are done with ballpoint pen, just a random office paper. So it's, even I've drawn on napkins before or receipts. So it doesn't really matter. I mean, better supplies, yeah, it's better quality. It might last a bit longer and stuff, but not too important. It's how you use the tools. that bit my mistake flag just going round all the lines I'd love to see a race with these I've never actually seen a race like with these dirt kind of cars it's probably more popularized in America and I've just realized that this is in grayscale so <laughs> it's all in Gray, so you can't see them actually using a green pen. It's a green pen. I'm not gonna lie to you. It's a green pen. <laughs> like that. And maybe just a few sideway lines. Okay, there we have it, my little dirt race. So, hope you enjoyed this video, guys. And don't forget to check out the links in the description. You know, like, sub, 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 uh, like, and subscribe, sorry, if you want to see some more videos. But thanks very much for watching. I'll be back with another video real soon.